Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I want to do another disassembly video for you, this time on this guy, the Shirogora of Hati. So, those of you who are longtime fans of the channel may have seen this Hati uh, before, because I actually got it in from a reader, a guy named Plumman, as a, uh, a loner. And I'm going to go ahead and just start the disassembly using my very expensive disassembly tool here. But anyways, um, Plummet sent it to me, I reviewed it, I loved it. It's a great, great knife, and, uh, but then I, I sent it back to him, and it just kind of grew on me. I went and I tried the F95 from Shirogarov, which was smooth, but it wasn't incredible, it wasn't doing it for me. And this guy just kept being on my mind, and Plummen kept posting pictures of it on the Instagram, and then it went up for sale, and I, I just broke. And so I got this guy from him exact same model I reviewed, exact same unit I reviewed way back when. And I'm really glad I did, honestly. This is one heck of a knife, and one of the reasons I like it so damn much is not just that the Shirogarovs clearly gave a damn as they were doing it, milling out the carbon fiber and doing the interior milling and things like that, but also because it's got such an incredible action while still being a knife that's running on washers. And being unique in that it's not just on washers, but there's a bushing in there as well open. So all I'm doing right now is removing the top scale here, and I can do that. Go ahead and remove that. I got the stop pin and the backspacer pin. Again, the fact that they pinned the backspacer again just, oh, they gave a damn. And that's just the nicest thing for me. Um, so now we've got the blade free. We can see the bushing here on the pivot as well as this other um, washer over here, and then we got a washer on this side. So, um, there you go. Let's go on ahead and do a little bit of cleaning here. As I grab a paper towel. Paper towel. I'm going to go ahead and move the hardware out of the way for a second here. Not too much of it. That's the other thing I love so damn much is that the knife is very simple. There's not a whole lot going on with it. And that means it's a simple thing done well. Um, and with a whole lot of mastery. I mean, with the milling and whatnot. So, and that that's, I'm a sucker for that completely. Um, a knife with few parts that functions just beautifully is always, always, always going to appeal to me. It's just the case. So at the moment, I'm just kind of wiping everything clean. It's pretty clean already, but, uh, you know, making sure. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and pop out the pivot. At least I'm sure going to try. I'll take off the bushing first. Then I'll pop out the pivot. Pop off this washer. Here we go. Beautiful. And of course, I could go in and do a much better polish on these washers than is already there. You can see that there's a little bit of polishing that's already gone on, but uh, come on now. Around the edges there. Uh, this is something that uh, a lot of my viewers, a guy named John Tedich, one long time commenter, always recommends, and it's a good idea to go through with uh, maybe a piece of leather and just really strop your washers, uh, and of course, and some um, compound, and really get them super smooth. That's a way that you can add smoothness to a lot of knives, even knives that aren't super high end. If you put the effort into a knife, you can often get it even smoother than it came from the factory, and that's that's a beautiful thing. But it's not always possible, and, you know, unfortunately some knives just started off bad and will end bad, too. That's life. Go ahead and clean off the washer here. A oh, washer, wow, the pivot. Wipe off that. And wipe this off right here. And honestly, given that the knife itself is just not so dirty, um, this is more for demonstration than true need. I think we can go on ahead and start the reassembly. Oh, God, do I love how simple this is. Holy crap. And especially even compared to knives that are running on bearings, this is easier. Because all you're really doing is manipulating a couple of chunks of metal. I mean, seriously. This is every part that this knife has right here. One, two, three. Maybe you can call that a fourth part. You could replace it. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen parts. Holy crap, that brings me joy. Anyways, moving it along. Let's go on ahead. This is just your ten weight nano oil here. And I'm going to be a little sparing, actually, with the nano oil for this. Just because it is running on the washers, and I don't want it to be too, too wet. Just using that to spread the, uh, the oil all over there. Now I'm going to drop the bushing onto this. 
more here. Just a little tiny droplet of the oil and then spreading it around the inside there. Beautiful. So I've dropped the bushing on here first and the reason for that is that it is a bushing. It, it does control the spacing here. And so if I were to put the washer down first, there's no guarantee that it would be centered on the scale here. Go ahead and put a little drip right there. And I'm gonna pick the side that looks smoother. Yeah. Go ahead and drop that on there. So now you can see that the washer is centered nicely around the uh, the bushing there, which is beautiful. I'm just rotating it a little bit to uh, give it some, uh, make sure that it spreads the lubrication around. And now, and of course this will spread out naturally as the knife is used, but I'm just using the side of the applicator here, again, to just spread that little bit of lube around all over the washer. Beautiful. Other thing I've got to do here is a little bit of your heavier weight nano oil. I'm just going to fill up the detent hole here. Come on. And that, and I'll use this to spread it along a little bit. We'll just allow the uh, detent to slide a little smoother. Another little dot over here. The detent ball will slide a little smoother along the blade. And I'm using the heavier weight just because it's a little bit slipperier. Well, I don't know if that's the case, but I just get better luck generally if I use a heavy weight oil on your detent ball. So there we go. Uh, we are all set. This side is oiled. The other side is oiled. The bushing is good to go. And here we go. Drop that in there. Now I'll throw in a stop pin. Why not? Here you go. Have a stop pin. Excellent. Now on the other side here, I will go ahead and drop on the other washer. So again, I'm going to be pretty stingy with my lubricant at the moment. Drop it on there and make sure it's centered around the bushing. Use that to spread it around a little bit. Another drop it to a lube. There we go. This is one of few times in life you want to be stingy with the lubrication. Alrighty, go on ahead and drop this in here. This just reminds me how much I love this damn knife. I never should have let it out of my sight in the first place. Well, I, mean, I even had the offer on the table, but I, I hadn't. The grass was greener on the other side. I thought, but Nick, wait, if you get this, yeah, I had just ordered a, a neon at the time, and I even had the two in hand, and the neon was so incredible on bearings that I thought the F95 just must be a revelation. Now I'm just dropping the carbon fiber back on. And uh, so I, I went for it, and it turned out just not to be that interesting. It's a fine knife, but for the price, not quite so much. The Hati just is so much more thrilling to me uh, than, the, uh, than the F95 ever was. So there you go. Go ahead and apply a little bit of Loctite. Uh, I can do a little better than that. I'm just using a watch spring bar tool as an oiler here. Just to make sure none of the Loctite gets up inside the, uh, the works in there. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this on here. And I'm just gonna try and get it finger tight. And there we go. That way I know everything's aligned. Then I can spend a little more effort talking it in. Beautiful, I'll go ahead and do the other side as well. Just two screws, love it. This knife is completely insane at the same time. I mean, if this knife were three inches, oh man. I would be thinking seriously about selling some other knives. But uh, alas, it's a little crazy, but as art, oh man, is it great. And it frankly is an object of mechanical beauty. Okay, that's now torqued down. And go ahead and torque this guy a little more. 
powerful. This does have a free spinning pivot, which is one of few demerits I have on it. Doesn't really become a factor here, but it is something to keep in mind. Oh my god, yes. Oh, that's so nice. And of course, it'll wear in over time, particularly the detent ball thing. We'll spread the lubrication out more. Just walk a little bit. I'll probably spend the next 20 minutes just doing this. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This action is just stellar. Oh, man. I made the right choice here. Anyway, so that's how you disassemble and maintain a Shiragorov Hati. Pretty straightforward. This may actually be my quickest disassembly video yet. Eh, maybe not. But either way, it's pretty easy, and I'm a big fan of that fact. I hope this has been interesting for you and that you have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of the day. And honestly, if you ever get a chance to pick up a Hati running on washers and you know it's real, because there are a lot of fakes out there, sadly, uh, this is... Oh, man, is this a gem. Highly, highly recommended. And a privileged place in my collection, next to the Neon and the Norseman, which are both really great stuff. All right. Uh, have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.